when seven cadets boarded the Earth's most advanced spacecraft in the year of our Lord 2120, they had no idea what was in store for them. Peaceful and advanced, the Earth had also grown complacent. An alien device landed in the Rocky Mountains and promptly erased humanity from history. I am Captain Matt Stone, and today I lead a ragtag group of humans and aliens on a lonely quest to restore the Earth. Someday we will return, but for now our home is called Mars Station. Captain's log I am staying with the Pleiadians along with a crew on the Independence, and have accepted a temporary position to coordinate recovery efforts. Meanwhile, Julie has been in contact. The Earth's magnetic field is rapidly destabilizing and that is a major cause for concern. Even the Zorkin device is fluctuating and that gives us hope that perhaps we will be able to disable it. We are on a planet within the Pleiadian sphere of influence that is designed for relaxation. Matt are you going to join us? You could use a rest too. Sally I have duties to perform. We are here for a week before we have to go back. Just enjoy yourselves and don't worry about me. I hope I don't have to order a medical rest leave for you. I will join you soon. There is still a meeting to attend. Thank you for coming Matt. Most of the planets have been devastated by the zombie outbreak. We would like you to submit your plan for reorganizing things. The ship is transmitting the plan as we speak. It calls for the formation of rebuilding councils on each planet, and an overriding authority that they will answer to. Excuse me, but there is a disturbance in the lounge. It looks like something Earth people might know about. Elaine can you please carry on here? It is a devil. It is evil. Keep it away from me. Well Sally how is he? What caused this? Well he ran into a wall so hard that he has pretty bad bruising. What frightened him? I can't imagine something terrifying one of these people so much. From the descriptions I would say it was a clown. But here is the thing Matt. His mental state is highly agitated even now, like he was in pain. I cannot imagine a clown causing such fear even if they are not familiar with them and I don't understand about the pain. In your opinion is he insane? What could have happened? I don't know Matt. We will be running toxicology and other tests but so far the only link is the clown. I will keep you posted. Captain I have a little surprise for you. Commander Sinclair? How is this possible? 
It has been some time since astrophysics class Matt and that joke you played on Jimmy Dane. He deserved it. How can you be here? More of us than you know have been living on other planets of the aligned worlds and beyond. I have been living with the rather paranoid Orions. I learned of your exploits during the zombie war. Well done. Thank you. Would you like a tour of the ship? Yes I would. We have issues to discuss. Captain's log we are monitoring Earth for the continuing changes in its magnetic field. We have assumed orbit and a science team is studying the changes. Of particular interest is the Zorkin device, which is faltering. Jill I think I can get through the defenses of the device and download the operating system. Can you disrupt the programming? Maybe we can disable it. I cannot, but I can get the code and study it. Maybe I can find a flaw. Okay go ahead but keep it separate from our main systems. Jill I have been making calculations on the Earth. If this was to continue there could be a planet-wide disaster. What do you mean by that? How can these fluctuations cause major problems? There is a growing electrical potential between the Earth, its ionosphere, and the Van Allen belts too. If this continues, there will be a massive release of energy that could destroy the planet's surface. Can we do something to stop it? No we cannot. Initial estimates show about a 90% degradation of life on the surface. This will not be a big thunderstorm. It will be fire from the sky. I concur with Gina's calculations. The surface of the planet will be badly burned. I would say one other thing as well. It appears that the Earth's magnetic field is about to change polarity. It gets worse. The sun's activity is increasing and we are expecting a series of flares and that will make the situation even worse. The timing is just incredible. Alright we will wait until Derek finishes downloading and then we will head back. Everyone prepare your reports for Julie. My first question is for Dr. Zira and Gina. What have you found? I believe the pole shift will happen in approximately an Earth month. The destruction will be extremely heavy. Most of the Earth's surface will be burned off. The oceans will be badly damaged as well. Okay Derek your turn. What did you find out? I had to use an incredible amount of computer memory to download the data. What have you learned so far? Our computers are still analyzing the data and the programming. It is appearing that this was designed more like a script than a program. Like they were writing a story. What kind of story? What is the outcome? I don't know yet. But Julie there is a disturbing aspect to this. The programming. I am having trouble saying it. Come on Derek spit it out. We need to know. In the programming it references Soma Industries. Jake's outfit. I don't know what that means. Okay Derek good job. Keep at it and see if you can figure out what is going on with that. know what the cause of this is? No Matt, there is not much left of the body. I ran toxicology scans and came up negative. However, the blood shows heightened adrenal activity. Explain that to me Sally. Does this relate to the prior victim? Yes it does. 
the previous one showed the same pattern. There were high levels of adrenaline in both. You have explained what but not why. It is called the fight or flight reaction. It appears they were both terrified, though I cannot really tell with this equipment. I need the medical ship. Sally that is back at Mars. Going for it would leave us short on personnel here. Matt how would you like it if I went to the station and got your medical ship? I can take a shuttle to Earth and get a crew. Don't worry about the ship. I won't be returning here. Thanks Cindy I will take you up on that. Make it as quick as you can, but do make sure you get a tour from Julie. I want you to see the station. These people were terrified Matt. It is irrational fear. Excuse me Captain. There is a woman who wants to come aboard the ship. She says that she saw a clown in the area where the man fell. See to it Taffy. Bring her in and you both can have a seat. Thank you Captain. What a beautiful ship this is. I saw, well he was wearing white face paint, and red and weird red hair. I have heard you call that a clown. Did he frighten you? How did you react? Well he was ugly but I was not frightened of him, just upset when the man jumped off the cliff. I would like to run some scans on you if I could have your permission. It will only take a few minutes and would help us with our investigation. Would you mind helping us out? Yes Captain I will be delighted. Nothing Matt. She is showing signs of stress. Other than that, everything looks normal. Alright thank you for your help. It will help us figure out what is going on. Julie there is a small craft inbound. It reads as a shuttle. Try to get an identification on the pilot. I have confirmation. There is one occupant, Earth Space Defense Force. Send an escort. Have the pilot land in the shuttle bay. I don't believe it. Cindy Sinclair. 
Funny meeting you here. Hello Julie. It has been a while. You were always a good student. Come on in. It's good to see you. What have you learned about the Holocaust? Well we know that the device was partially designed by Soma Industries. One of our officers is, or was, an heir to that company but I seriously doubt he had anything to do with it. What is the status of the Zorkin device? What is the status of the Earth? The Earth's magnetic field is getting ready to flip. We are expecting that the surface will be badly burned. The Zorkin device is faltering. We believe it will be just a matter of days now. Excuse me Julie I have been going over the data from the Zorkin device. It is the patterns Julie. Can you come to Ops? What are we looking at here? Black bear, puffer fish, tree frog? I don't understand. Is this some kind of biology lesson? These are the DNA patterns that we found in the code from the device. It contains the DNA patterns of almost everything on Earth except humans. Good work Jake. Keep looking and see what you can find. Matt wants the medical ship at the planet he is attending. I would like a tour if you don't mind. Okay let me dispatch Zach Larson and a crew on the medical ship and then we will give you the royal tour. Welcome Commander Sinclair. I trust you have a report for me. Yes I do. The Earth is deteriorating rapidly. I don't believe it will be long now. What have they learned about the Zorkin device? It is not strictly a Zorkin device. There is programming from the Soma Corporation. I don't know how that is possible. I need to talk to Stone. That would be a good idea Admiral. I know Matt personally. He is going to be furious when he finds out. Stone is not the only one who is angry. I will talk this over with some of the others if I can get a hold of them. Thanks Commander. Continue to Pyros. We are about to break ground on the new base and I need you there to help oversee it. Set course for Mars Station. Helm ahead standard. It is the same thing again. He appears to be terrified of something, definitely hallucinating. Thanks for coming Magistrate. We have better equipment on this ship. Hopefully we will get some answers. What have you found so far? 
The patient here is in a deep psychotic state and is not able to respond. His adrenal glands are being stimulated by fear and hallucinations. Can you do anything to break him out of it? He is one of our best pilots. I believe that regeneration and an atropine derivative may help. Let me know if you find a solution. Excuse me, I need to rework the schedule for our remaining pilots. Now that's very interesting. She said they are all pilots. I don't believe in coincidences. Witnesses say she was acting irrationally mad. They also report a clown looking at her. Is she a pilot as well, or something else? She is on the same team, ground control. It is a pattern. I am certain of that. I wish I could see what they see. I may be able to get you the images directly out of their brains. Okay get right on it. Meet me on the independence if you are successful. Magistrate I wanted to ask some technical questions of you if you don't mind. Two of the victims hallucinated experiences that involved creatures from other planets. One was from Earth. I suppose it is possible they could have learned this information from traitors. I doubt that. Now in the image was of a sea creature we call a shark and it was detailed. Do you perhaps have a way of projecting images directly in people's minds? I mean remotely? Well yes, don't you? It is a common entertainment technology. We beam entire segments of what you call movies into their brains. It makes for an exciting entertainment experience. I see. No we have some hologram technology but generally we watch things on flat screens. How primitive. Is there a reason for these questions? Yes there is. I suspect that there may be a plot to use this technology to attack your people. Could this technology cause a person to be psychotic? Under the right circumstances it could. We have safeguards to prevent this. Each device is tuned to an individual's brain waves. In our case they are pleiadion. Do you suggest something specific? I noticed that all victims are involved one way or another with planetary security. I think there may be a connection. Captain, all our facilities here are free for anyone to use. We maintain a small force for defense against pirates but no one bothers us here. Continue your investigation, but personally I think you are on the wrong track. What do you think Heather? Something is not quite right there. Do you suspect her? What are you thinking? I don't know yet. These people are passive and I think we will have to take action on our own. I am not ready to but I am working up ideas. Can you get me some information? Like what? Do you want me to tap into their database? Yes. See what you can find anything of great value that might inspire a major crime. I have bad news for you. I learned from their hospital that the last two patients suffered cerebral hemorrhages and died. Well now we know that the technology is lethal. I want independence on 24-hour alert. We may have to intercept something.
Thanks for coming Matt. I think you were right. Our computer center caught fire and a technician died in the fire. There was no reason for that to happen. We believe it was arson. What is the state of your security force? We have fighters but few people to fly them and our detection grid is down. Independence can help you with that. I would like you to hire my sister. Your sister? Why? We have people to hire for pilots and technicians. We have been developing a plan to catch a clown. Heather. I will pose as a pilot. Spread the word around, but not that I am from Earth. We are not Pleiadians, so the device will not work on us. We will fill you in. Well you look like a good candidate there. Report for duty tomorrow and we will fix you up with a ship. Thank you for all your help. I am really looking forward to serving with you. Well clown I set the fire you wanted and took out the computer center. Are you ready yet? Not quite yet. We need to do something about the earth ship. Your ship cannot take them on? No that ship is powerful and we did not expect to go into combat. I will sneak aboard and disable the ship. The jewels are waiting. Their other ship is a medical ship and is harmless. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Lieutenant Zorka, what is going on? One female approaching, appears to be intent on boarding. Okay everyone grab weapons. Follow my lead. Do you want me to raise the gangplank? No I want to see what she is up to. We will wait and hide. Well you know it is customary to ask for a tour of someone's ship. You sneaked aboard ours. I will be going. I just made a mistake. No you are not going anywhere until the captain talks to you. Did you really think you could sneak onto an advanced warship like ours unnoticed? Take her into custody. I want answers. Why did you board our ship? You will get nothing from me, Earthman. I will not talk. Okay Sally she is all yours. Use the truth drug on her. Just a little needle stick and you will be fine. This drug will not harm you, but it will loosen up your tongue. <coughs> 
Why did you sneak on the independence in the middle of the night? I was going to disable it so you could not stop our ship. What type of ship, and where is it coming from? We come from Taxus B. The ship is a two-seater and no match for yours. I was sent to stop it. Who sent you? The clown? What is his name? I only know him as the clown. What is your objective here, and how many are involved? There are four of us. We are after the crown jewels of Xena which are displayed in a local museum. What kind of device is the clown using? A mobile projection device designed for Pleiadians. He projects terrifying images into their minds. Well Sally it sounds like quite a heist they are planning. Transfer her and the transcript of this conversation to the local authorities after the drug wears off. We are standing here with one of our newest pilots, June Hot. June Hot is an experienced pilot and will greatly benefit our security. Thanks again. I am looking forward to assuming my post. Just a party at the recreation center tonight and then on to work tomorrow. I am assuming that you will have plenty of friends there. Yes I will. Come on by. Let's have fun, people. Heather you look wonderful. Let's hope our friend shows up. Matt I don't think this is about a bunch of jewels. There is something more here. Well you could be right. Something does not ring true. Now have fun. Keep your weapon hidden. Well Bozo I finally get to meet you. Funny, you are just as ugly as we have been told. Who are you? How dare you speak to me like that? You see, I am seriously angry at you, Bozo. What have I done to you? You sent someone to sabotage my ship, Bozo. I am Captain Matt Stone, of the Triplanet Space Defense Force. Human my name is not Bozo. It is James Court. That will help investigators. Oh and your toy will not work. The pilot is my chief tactical officer and sister Heather. 
We are from Earth. You are under arrest. Human you have no authority to hold me. You guys getting all this? We are going to wipe a smile off a certain clown's face. Human I am leaving. Don't try to stop me. Heather I think our friend needs an attitude adjustment. You are going to jail for a long time, bozo. Captain Stone, may I speak with you? I represent one of the four sides of the Peace Conference. Peace Conference? I have not heard anything about this. Please take a seat and explain this to me. We will go into the conference room. I will start from the beginning. Four planets at the nearby Naxus system have been perpetually at war for well over a decade. We are trying to put an end to the war. What are the names of the planets? Rigel 4, where I come from, Glias, Betelgeuse and Pluto 2. All our people are tired of war and demanding that it be stopped, so if you don't mind my asking, what do you want with us? Forgive me, I am Ginny Noel. We request your presence. It would greatly benefit us, just having you there. Sure can we move our ship near there? And can I offer the services of our Earth Ambassador Faith Rose? That would be most generous. I will provide coordinates for your ship. Also please arrange for your ambassadorial staff to tour the ship. We would be honored. Thank you Captain. I look forward to this. Are you thinking the same thing I am Matt? I believe so Heather. The clown turned out to be an interstellar arms merchant. There are interests that probably do not want the war to end. It is all beginning to make sense now.
Matt they took out most of our fighters and some of our people before we stopped them. We have two operational fighters. There are some reinforcements due in a day but no available pilots for the moment. I can loan you two pilots. We need those birds off the ground. Can they hide somewhere in orbit? There is a small base on the asteroid moon we have. They can hide there. I can see you are expecting trouble. Yes I think we can expect an attack. We will be parked near the peace conference and our ambassador Faith Rose will attend it. Captain's log it has been quiet so far and the last group is on board the ship. We are giving them tours. I know something is going to happen and have taken preemptive action. Well we have a special this week. Two bozos for the price of one. I am the one with the gun human. And what is a bozo? A bozo is an inept, silly clown. That would be you. We are going to cancel the conference right now. We had better do what he says captain. He has a gun. He has a toy ambassador. A local factory printed me one as thanks for some help I gave them. Stay back Captain. I am warning you.
Lieutenants Zorka and Seacrest, take him into custody. I suggest that you restrict your movements and cooperate. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Take a seat Ambassador. There is no time to disembark. We are going into battle. Status Commander. What are we facing? A single fighter. It is the command ship type. Headed right for the conference. Notify the fighters. Immediate liftoff. They are on their way. ETA 1 minute. Attention alien spacecraft. You are violating Pleiadian space. Halt your approach and state your intentions. No response commander. They have stopped and are looking us over. They know who we are. Alien spacecraft, I am Commander Stephanie Elaine, Pleiadian Special Forces currently commanding the Earth Destroyer Independence. State your intentions. Fighter craft are closing in on your flank. Still no response. They are acting deaf and dumb. Here come the fighters. Broadcast this in the clear. Commander Larson and Lieutenant Stone, lock your fire control systems on that ship. Tactical, charge plasma guns. Earth creatures we have legitimate business on the planet. The fighters will escort you to a designated landing area. They will shoot you down if you deviate from the flight path. Stone why didn't you destroy them? We are not hunters, Ambassador. We put a scare into them but under the circumstances we needed to do something to check them out. Do you think they were about to attack? I don't know. That is for the local authorities to determine. They may be telling the truth. And so, esteemed ambassadors, today you face a brighter future, free of war and the pestilence and problems that it can cause. As all of you have signed the peace treaty, and I have signed it as well on behalf of the Earth, I declare that this war is over. Congratulations. Matt the conference was a success thanks to you. We are sending some supplies and fresh vegetables and meat with you as a thank you. Thanks Magistrate I appreciate that. What happened with the ship we confronted? They were okay. We checked their papers out and they were just delivering documents. After a nice dinner and a relaxation spa they went on their way. I am thinking there are a few people who are not happy with what we did. I can think of one in particular. He is called the Overseer. I know who he is. The Overseer is considered to be, what you say, a bozo by many. Even so, the Overseer is wanted in at least a dozen systems, mostly for fraud. We tangled with him on a planet in our system. Stone meet my new aide. His name is Jimmy Jack. He is a little young but a rising star. 
Welcome Jimmy I am glad to meet you. Get off your butt, boy. I want to dance. That girl is going to wear my new aid out. That is my sister Heather for you. Get off your butt boy. I want to dance. Are you going to wear me out? I might do more than that. The feared attack from space never came. Perhaps the presence of the ship was a deterrent. Whatever the reason, jubilation was everywhere in the affected solar system and beyond. There were some however who predictably were very unhappy with peace breaking out. Matt Stone I will get you for this. He has done it to me again. 